just the fact that these two sides met is a major development because this is the first time that the government, which is not recognized by any other government in the world, is meeting international powers, including the United States. There's been a major diff clash of views uh, because the Taliban sees the United States as a defeated army that had pushed out of its country, and the United States sees Taliban as a group uh, of consisting of people which are under sanctions list and many of them are considered terrorists and just getting here was not easy it was a roller coaster ride and there was shuttle diplomacy especially by the state of Qatar as it hosted uh, these two sides yet again after the US withdrawal the Taliban insisting uh, that the United States uh, needs to live up to its uh, side of the bargain uh, when it signed the agreement in Doha and said that all the sanctions against the Taliban will be lifted and the Taliban asking that the United States should make sure that it doesn't impinge on the sovereignty of Afghanistan. The U.S. side saying that the Afghanistan government, which is in power, the Taliban who have been fighting them for 20 years, need to live up to their side of the deal, make sure that girls' schools are not closed. Uh, there is a government which is inclusive, a government which gives rights to its people. And then, finally, they were able to sit together. This is the first day of two-day talks between them and the other side and the lineup uh, of the Taliban was very interesting as well because it's not just the foreign minister it is the Taliban spy chief it is the Taliban's deputy interior minister and they're not only going to be talking to the diplomats in Doha but they're also going to be talking to various security agencies including the Americans regional powers uh, international players they'll be talking to aid agencies as well to try and get the much needed aid they need for the Afghan people. Millions of people are in desperate need of help and we've been hearing from aid agencies that unless the international community acts in a matter of weeks, not months, there is going to be a humanitarian catastrophe. Those were the words of various uh, international donors and agencies who've been seeing the situation on the ground that aid should not be used as a bargaining chip but we, for the international community which has now lost its leverage after all its forces pulled out, that might be the only thing that they can use to try and get the Taliban to do what they